the first round is the round of anatomy of answers. So we'll be starting with team B first. You will be uh, you will be answering the question. You will be unmuting yourself, answering the questions. The second question will be now will be going to team B. Uh, to team C, after that to team D, and then to team E, after which for the second round, again, we'll be coming to team B, then to team C, and then the further rounds. Uh, do you all have any queries before starting? Great. So welcome to Physio Brain Quiz powered by Physio TV. So before starting, let's... All acknowledge the fact that the joy of competition is in the process of learning and is not in the outcome. So all the best, everyone. So let's get started. So coming to the first round, our first round will be anatomy of answers. Right? Coming to the rule, each team, each one of y'all will be getting 20 seconds to answer after the question is read out. The correct response will fetch you 10 points. Incorrect response and after the time is up will fetch you with zero points. The decision of the quiz master will be considered to be the final decision. Also kindly answer only when the question is asked to your team. Any doubts in the rules? You may unmute yourself and let me know if you all are clear with the rules. Yes, ma'am. Great. Yes, ma'am, it's clear. Okay, so the first question is directed to team B. Team B, are you ready? Please unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. So your question is, the masseter muscle is innervated by which nerve? And your options are facial nerve, trigeminal nerve, glossopharyngeal nerve, or accessory no. Facial. Sure. Twenty seconds has already started. Facial no ke trigeminal. Maybe have the final answer. Option A facial no. Wrong answer. The right answer is trigeminal no. Coming to. Kindly un unmute yourself. Kindly mute yourself. Requesting the next team to please unmute. That is team C. Yes, ma'am. Your question is: Which type of cell in the cerebellum are known for their inhibitory influence on the output neurons? Your options are Purkinje cells, granule cells, basket cells, or mozzi fibers. The 20 seconds have started. Um, and option B, granule cells. Okay. Uh, it's the wrong answer. The right answer is Perkin G cells. Kindly mute yourself. Moving to the next team. Team D, kindly unmute yourself. Your question is, According to the pain gate theory, where is the gate located that controls the transmission of pain signals to the brain? Your options are spinal cord, thalamus, cerebral cortex, and brainstem. Your time starts now. Uh, option C, cerebral cortex. Option C, cerebral cortex. cortex. I'm sorry, that's, that's the wrong answer. The right answer is spinal cord. Okay, moving to the next team. Team E, kindly unmute yourself. The question is, the track of bird arch is referred to as what? Your options are fasciculus gracilis, fasciculus cuneatus, fasciculus spino, uh, spinocerebral tract or rubrospinal tract. 
Ma'am, option A, fasciculus gracilis. That's the wrong answer. The right answer is fasciculus cuneatus. <coughs> Moving to the second second set. So again, we'll be going to team B, requesting team B to kindly unmute yourself. Your question is, in a basketball jump shot, which of the following muscles contributes significantly to the explosive upward motion of the jump? Your options are gastrocnemius, hamstrings, rectus femoris, and gluteus medius. Your time starts now. Uh, option A, gastrocnemius. Right, you're absolutely right. That has fetched you 10 marks. Coming to the yeah. next team, that is team C. Requesting team B to kindly unmute yourself or mute yes, yourself. Team C, can you unmute yourself? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So the question is, in context of patellar tracking disorder, which muscle imbalance is most commonly implicated? Your options are weak quadriceps and tight hamstrings, weak vastus medialis oblique and tight iliotibial band, C, weak hamstrings and tight quadriceps, D, weak gastronomius and tight soleus. Your time starts now. Uh, Map option two, uh, weak vastus medialis oblique and uh, tight iliotibial band. Absolutely right. That has fetched you 10 points. Thank you. Requesting team C to kindly mute and team D to kindly unmute yourself. The question is, does a side flank exercise which of the following muscle provide the primary stabilization of the trunk? External, oblique, internal oblique, rectus abdominis, or gluteus medius? Spine. The time has started. Option B, internal oblique. Option B, internal B. oblique. That's the wrong answer. The right answer is gluteus medius. No problem. We move to the next group, the next team. Team E, kindly mute, unmute yourself. Yes. Your question is, what is the primary role of antidiuretic hormone? Your options are increase urine output, decrease blood pressure, increase water reabsorption in kidneys, or stimulation digestion. Your time has started. Increase water reabsorption in kidneys. Absolutely right. That has fetched you 10 points. We are in the process of calculating the final points. Kindly wait. Uh, so after the end of the first round, that is anatomy of answers, since we have only four participants, all of you all will be moving ahead to the next round. So coming to the scores, team B is at 10 points. Congratulations. Team C is at 10 points. Congratulations. Team D is at zero points. So you all need to 
tighten your belts. Team E is at point 10. Congratulations. So we uh, will be carrying this course forward as well as you go along with your further rounds. Okay, so now we'll be starting with our uh, second round that is beyond physiotherapy. The first question will be directed towards team B. Team B, are you ready? Kindly unmute yourself. Yes, yes ma'am. Oh, great. Okay. The rules for the second round is similar to the first round. You all will be getting 20 seconds to answer after the question is read out. The correct response will fetch you all 10 points and incorrect response will fetch you all with 0 points. The decision of the quiz master will be considered to be the final decision. Kindly answer only when the question is being asked to you. Okay. So your question is, uh, you have to name any two authors of the book being displayed. Your time has started. Sorry, Ma'am, one is O Sullivan. Okay. And second, uh, is not five second. Three, two. Done. So sorry that doesn't fetch you any marks. The name of the authors are Susan O. Sullivan, George Falk, and Thosmus Shins. No problem. We can look into the further rounds. Coming to the next team, team B, kindly mute yourself, requesting team C to please unmute yourself. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What is the name of the book being displayed? You have to tell me the full name of the book being displayed. Ma'am, uh, it's uh, therapeutic uh, exercises, uh, huh? foundation, and and techniques. Amazing. You're absolutely right. The name of the book is Therapeutic Exercises, Foundations, and Technique. That has fetched you 10 marks. Good. Thank you, ma'am. Coming to team... D, requesting team D to kindly unmute yourself. Team D, kindly un unmute yourself. So your question is, name the book being displayed on the screen. Your time stands now. If, tell me the name of the book. Principles of Exercise uh, The Principles of Exercise Therapy. Amazing. That has fetched you 10 marks. You're right. The name of the book is The Principles of Exercise Therapy. Coming to Team E, requesting you all to kindly unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Team E, requesting you all to kindly keep your videos on throughout the quiz. All right. Yes, so your question is name the book being displayed on the screen. You want the full name of the book. Electrotherapy explained by Lohan. Can you repeat? Electrotherapy explained by Lohan. Electrotherapy explained. Yes, Can you all tell me practice. the full name once again? Practice and principles of electrotherapy explained by Lowen Reed. The okay. author's name. So, electro. Great. That has fetched you 10 marks. The name of the book is Electrotherapy Explained Principle and Practice. You have said practice and principle, but we will consider that. That has fetched you 10 marks. Coming to the second set of questions now, requesting team B to kindly unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So your question is, what does the CDC in the display logo stand for? Your 20 seconds have started.
team B, kindly unmute yourself. Your time is up and the right answer is Center for Disease Control and Prevention. No problem. Coming to team C, kindly unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. So your question is, with which association is the displayed logo associated? Uh, ma'am, the logo is of uh, WHO. World Great, that has question 10 marks. The logo is for World Organization. Requesting Team C to kindly unmute your, uh, mute yourself and Team D to kindly unmute yourself. So, can you be loud? Good? Ma'am, women's health and child care. That's the wrong answer. The logo is associated with UNICEF. No problem. We'll move to the next team, Team E. Requesting you all to kindly unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. With which association is the displayed logo associated? Paralympics. Absolutely right. That has fetched you 10 points. Great. So with this, we are uh, we have done with our second round that is uh, beyond physiotherapy. Kindly give us one minute so that we calculate your scoring. Coming to our scores, after the two rounds are done, Team B is at score 10. Congratulations. Team C is at score 30. Congratulations. Team D is at again score 10. Congratulations. And team E is again at score 30. So we have definitely team C as well as team E who will be going forwards for the next round. Coming to team B and team D, we'll be having a tie-breaking round. So after the round, one of your one of y'all have to be eliminated from the further quiz. So I request only team B to kindly unmute yourself. I'll be explaining you all how exactly the tiebreaker will be taken. Team B. Team B and team D, are you all, are you all able to hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we'll be giving you all one letter. For example, if I'm giving you C, you have to name all of the words related to physiotherapy or as many as words related to physiotherapy. The one who will be able to tell us maximum words related to that has to be one word or two words will be going ahead for the further rounds. Clear? Yes. So you'll be getting... 30 seconds. For example, if I say C, maybe a catheter or a, or a cryotherapy. So I have two words. Clear? So you'll be getting 30 seconds. As many as words you can say, we'll be counting that. Fine? So the first letter which will be allotted to team B. Team B, kindly unmute yourself. Team B, are you all ready? Yes, ma'am. The letter you have been allotted is S. Uh, you may start. S. You have 30 seconds. Uh, letter 1, Shimpi's test. Team B. 1, Shimpi's test. Spalling test. Spalling test. Scoliosis. Silver scoise test. Static quadriceps. Static quadriceps and static hands. And spondylosis. Spondylosis. With this, you're done with your 30.
coming to the next team that is we have team b team d i already team d i already yes ma'am team d we cannot hear you yes ma'am we are ready yes so the letter allotted to you is m your time starts now my senior grade is my senior grade is uh muscle dystrophy muscle dystrophy uh, uh, manual muscle testing muscle energy tech mobilization maitland mobilization can we be a bit loud maitland mobilization uh, mulligan mulligan mm. uh, myofascial release muscle uh, musculoskeletal uh, myofascial release uh, muscle energy technique my senior gravis mwm that is movement with mobilization also done. muscle energy your time technique. is done team your time is done yes ma'am so give me 10 seconds to understand how many rightly you have told us so team b uh, you have given us words five words and team b has given us eight words so with this we have team b who will be moving ahead for the next round congratulations to team b team b we ha uh, we had a great opportunity of having you as well requesting you all to kindly leave the meeting yeah. thank you so much thank you, thank you. so with this we have team c we have team d as well as we have team e with us who will be moving ahead for the further rounds requesting all the teams to kindly make sure that your video is constantly on so coming to the rules each team each one of you all will be given 20 seconds to answer uh, there will be right there will be an image shown of which you will be getting 20 seconds to answer the correct answer will be fetch uh, will be fetching you all 10 points and the incorrect answer will be fetching you all 0 points no image will be passed on to the further team the decision of the quiz master will be considered to be the final decision so first we'll be starting with team c now team c i already yes ma'am okay so kindly identify the image your 20 seconds have started ma'am uh, the given uh, images of jaipur jaipur food you absolutely right that has fetched you 10 marks thank you ma'am great coming to the next team team d i already ready ma'am ready ma'am yes identify the image shown ma'am kfo knee foot orthosis knee foot orthosis absolutely right that has fetched you 10 marks coming to team e team t e i already yes ma'am kindly identify the image and your time starts now your talk clock is ticking you have four more seconds the time is up sorry team e the correct answer is it's a knuckle bender no problem we we'll move ahead to the second set again coming to team c team c i already yes ma'am so which method of application is shown in the image kindly identify the method of application shown in the image and your time has started now okay uh, the map map the method is of uh, uh, swd with contra lateral contra lateral method can you give me a specific name 
Sorry, that's the wrong answer. The right answer is it's a cross fire method of application of SW. No problem. Moving to the next team, team D, I already. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Which method of application is shown in the image? Ma'am, emotion me method of paraffin wax bath. Absolutely right. That has fetched you 10 marks. Team E, I already. Team E, yes. again, we are not able to see yeah. you all. Yes, yeah. great. Now we are able to see you all. Are we visible, ma'am? Yeah. Hello. So your question is, in which electrotherapy modality is the device shown used? Uh, it's the uh, SWD. Yes, you're absolutely right. It's the disc electrode used in SWD. That has fetched you 10 points. Congratulations. Coming to the next set of questions. Team C, I already. Yes, ma'am. So identify the equipment shown in the image. Uh, map the screen is not changed yet. Now, yeah, it has. It has now. Hello, ma'am. Your clock is ticking. Can you please change the slide again? Uh, is my screen visible? I think my screen is visible. Ma'am, uh, it's the previous one. Hi, yes, yes. ma'am. Uh, yeah, ma'am, the device nice shows, uh, it is a perineometer. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That has fetched you 10 points. Thank Good. you, ma'am. Coming to the next team, team D. Identify what type of instrument is used in the image and your time starts now. Kindly unmute yourself. Ma'am, it's power analyzer. Analytics, power. Okay. Analytics. No, that's the wrong answer. The right answer is it's a BIA. It's a bio impedance analyzer. No problem. We move to team E. Kindly unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Identify the above shown device. Team E, your clock is ticking. Do you have three more seconds? Humidifier. No, that's the wrong answer. Also, you are up with the time. The right answer is it's a Hudson chamber. No problem. So with this, we have completed the round, the, the, the third round as well. We'll be looking into your scores. Apologies, coming to the next set of questions in the same round. Team B, I already, uh, team C, I already. Team C? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So uh, kindly identify the findings shown in the image. You may ma'am, uh, it is the dislocation of the shoulder joint. You posterior dislocation of shoulder joint that is head of the humerus. Can you uh, can you be a bit more specific? Posterior dislocation of the head of the humerus. Absolutely right. That has fetched you 10 points. Congratulations. Coming to team D. Are you all ready? Yes, yes ma'am. 
uh, identify the fracture shown in the image. Ma'am, it's distal uh, humerus fracture. Yes, yes. Distal radius fracture that is the cooling fracture. fracture. Absolutely right. That has fetched you 10 points. It's the oh, cohesive fracture. Yes. Coming to team E. Are you already ready, team E? Yes, yes ma'am. Identify the condition in the image shown. Plural. Can you repeat your answer? Plural. Absolutely right. That has fetched you 10 points. So with this, we have done with the third round. We'll be calculating your score. Just give us 10 seconds. Okay. After this round, coming to your scorings, Team C we have at 60 points. Congratulations, Team C. Team D we have at 40 points. Congratulations, Team D. No, team E we have with 50 points. Congratulations with Team E. So unfortunately, Team D is with the lowest points and Team C and Team E will be moving ahead for the further rounds. I would like to request Team D to kindly leave the group. You all did a great job. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Team E and Team C will be moving ahead for the further rounds. Are you all ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. So Coming to the last round, that is the fourth round, which is a rapid fire. So as uh, the name suggests, it should be full of rapid. The answer should be as rapid as possible. Uh, we'll, be dis we'll be giving you all 90 seconds to answer. Each team should answer the as many as questions in 90 seconds. The correct response to each is going to fetch you 10 points. An incorrect response is going to fetch you with zero points. No image or no questions will be passed forward. And the decision maker of the uh, of the quiz master is the final decision. Any doubts? Okay. So in the 90 seconds, only one person needs to answer. You can discuss amongst yourself and only one person needs to answer the question. So if two or more people are answering, that will be uh, that question will not be counted. Clear? Team E and Team C, are we clear? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Team E requesting you all to kindly unmute and let me know if uh, you are okay with going ahead. Okay. So first we'll be starting with Team C. Team uh, C, yes, are you ready? Okay. Yes, and your time yes, starts now. According to WHO, what is the cutoff range for person to be called obese? Obese. It is rapid. If you don't know the answer, kindly pass it. Ma'am, about 30. Absolutely. Yeah, right. Which orthosis is used for the treatment of wrist joint? Wrist drop. Wrist drop. Which orthosis is used for the treatment of wrist drop? Team C, be fast. If you don't know, you may pass it. Ma'am, uh, uh, the cock is a uh, dynamic cock, cock, uh, dynamic cock up splint. Right. Which cock outcome up. measure is most commonly used to assess disability in patients with low back pain? Low back disability index on Ma'am, pass the question. Which serum lab test is the most accurate representation of blood sugar level for three months? HbA1c. HbA1c. Right. 
what is the primary function of the triode on electrotherapy equipment? Uh, the valve, uh, in that it with this the we are yeah, uh, we uh, have uh, already the 90 uh, seconds were up team c yes the correct answer to that was to amplify electric current all right so moving to team e team e i already team e Yes, and your 90 seconds starts now. Which criteria is used to classify PCOS? Pass. Okay. What does the Hormans reflex indicate? Pass. That was cervical myelopathy. The knee joint ligament which gives restraints in the maximum direction is? Knee joint which gives restraints in the maximum direction. Restraints? Hmm. ACL, uh, ACL anterior crucial ligament. That's wrong. That is the MCL ligament. Next question. Which condition occurs when the nerve conduction is affected by diabetes? Uh, diabetic neuropathy. Right, you're absolutely right. Which international organization provided guidelines for physiotherapy practice during COVID-19 pandemic? Uh, pass. Okay, the answer is WHO. How how do you assess the motor function of the 11th cranial nerve? 11th cranial nerve. Shrugging of shrugging of shoulders against resistance for trapezius. Yeah. Right. And yeah, right. Which spinal movement involves the patient bending sideways to one side and the other side? Yeah. Bending of, uh, ma'am, can you repeat the question, please? Which spinal movement involves the patient bend, bending sideways to one side and the other side? Lateral flexion. Yeah, you're right. Which specific pulmonary function test result is, and your time is up. So the answer to this was FVC. You all did great. So give, give us 10 seconds to just calculate your scorings. So we have calculated your scorings. So uh, in the last rapid fire round, both of this, both of the teams have scored similar. That is both of the teams have got 30 points, but uh, taking care of the fact that the previous scores for team C are more. Team C has 90 points and team E has 80 points. Just by 10 points, or rather I would say just by one question, team C is leading and team C will be now moving ahead to the finale on 4th of September. So heartiest congratulations to team C and team E, you all did a great, great job. Congratulations on your part as well. It was great having you all in the group team. In the group two, congratulations. We'll be now seeing you all in the finale. Thank you for joining with us. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Bye, ma'am. Thank you.